Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I am going to be explaining how to install Tamox X11 um, Wayland on your Android phone using Tamox, okay? Though I have made a video on this before, but it seems like most of you do not get the video because I didn't choose a voiceover. So in today's tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to connect to Wayland using Tamox, using Tamox X11. And I'm going to be making a voiceover. So please, if you're new to this channel, subscribe and turn on bell notifications. And um, without wasting much of your time, let us get to the video. All right, welcome back, guys. Um, the article displaying on your screen now is an article that I have written by myself on how to install the X11 will land on Tamox, alright? Though I have made a video before, but it seems like most of you do not get the video because of the fact that I didn't use a voiceover in that video. So in this tutorial, I am going to be using a voiceover as I am using already. And I'm going to explain it step by step, every single, you know, command in this article and how to use them. So as you can see, first is the PKG update and the PKG X11, PKG install X11 repo command. Both commands, the PKG update command is used in updating the repository and the X11 repo command is used in, in installing X11 repo. Now, I'd like you to know that you cannot uh, use Wayland on Tamox without installing X11 repo, so it is essential to install it. Now, you're going to be updating your terminal and installing X11 repo with the command PKG update, then you can put an apostrophe at the front, then PKG install X11 repo. Alright, so that is that about this command, okay? Now that we have covered that part, the next thing you're going to do is, um, okay, as you can see, it says after that, we're going to make some changes to our Tamox property file as we want to, as we want Tamox to allow external apps to do that, type the command, nano.tamox forward slash tamox.properties, okay? So you're going to copy this command. Now, after opening it, after copying the command and pasting it on your, on your Tamox terminal, a page like this is going to open and you're going to type the command control plus w okay to search and what you want to search for is this allow external and we want to uncomment it that's what this image is showing so i'm going to be showing you that in practical now so the first thing we're going to do is paste the command paste then click on enter and um, you're going to type control plus w on your keyboard okay control as you can see there's the ctrl button displaying and you're going to search for allow external just like i'm searching now and as you can see there it is so we're going to uncomment it we're going to remove the ash at the front and as you can see it is now displaying in white you're going to exit with ctrl x and you're going to type yes which is why that is that about that command okay so we're going to move to the next phase now the next phase is installing the Tamox X11 packages, okay? I want you to know that this package is still in development. It has not been, you know, the development has not finished on GitHub, so they update it all the time. But to, to download the packages, you're going to visit the Tamox X11 page on GitHub. I'm going to be pasting the link also in the description below, and you can copy the link from the website, okay? So as you can see, you can copy the link from the article, so, uh, let us go to X11 page on GitHub. It says open your browser, go to Tamox X11 GitHub page and scroll down. Okay. So you're going to scroll down now and you're going to locate uh, scroll down. You're going to locate setup instruction as you can see right here, setup instruction. So this is what you want to locate on this page. Now when you locate setup instruction, you're going to keep on click on last successful build last successful build that is it right there and it is going to direct you to a new page now in this new page that you are which is the last successful build page as you can see here you can see if, um fixed course your um, fixed course of positioning they just updated that yesterday so that is the latest one that is the one i'm going to be downloading so you're going to click on that make sure you download the latest version okay the latest link there is there that is the link you should be clicking on now as you can see if you scroll down to artifacts right here there it is tamox x11 but as you can see i'm trying to click on it and it is not clicking and the reason why that is happening is because i'm not logged in to github now most of you in the comment section in that previous video complained about this 
so um the reason why you're not able to download it is because you're not logged into a github account so i'm going to try signing in now to a github account okay if you don't have a github account create one it is very easy just sign up enter your email address and you know password and verify that's all so i'm going to sign in now to github as you can see my username is best in tech and um the password okay so i'm signed in now if i go back to um the artifact page artifact okay so i'm just going to scroll down now and locate the <coughs> the tamox dash x11 application file as you can see here it is if i click on it again now you can see it is now a link okay so um i'm going to download it now i'm just going to click on the link and now the download is going to start so please make sure you're logged into a github account to be able to use this make sure you are logged into a github account all right so yeah the download has been completed the next thing you're going to do now is um okay let me go back to the article and show you from the commands that i pasted in the article so as you can see we have already passed all of this um we have passed this this page okay so i'm going to scroll 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 we already downloaded it okay we have passed all of this so i'm going to scroll down okay so this is the stage we are now after downloading the file launch tamox and locate the file through your terminal type the command below to navigate to your download folder on tamox now it is a, to, for this command to be able to work for you it is important that your download is saved in your internal storage on tamox okay not the external storage if it is saved in your external storage you have to access your sd card now this is saved in my internal storage so if i go to the download folder in my internal storage as you can see it is right here tamox-x11.zip so i'm going to copy this file now and um as you can see so now copy the tamox-x11 file to tamox home directory using the command cp tamox-x11.zip dollar dollar home okay this command is going to copy this file from this directory to you know your own directory on on tamox so of course so i'm going to head back to tamox now and i'm going to use the cp command to copy then the file is tamox 11zip you're going to copy to this you're, you're copying this file then to dollar home forward slash dollar home which is your home directory okay home and click on enter as you can see it has been copied so if i go back to my home directory now and i type um let me clear the the face clear if i type list now which is ls as you can see there is the storage and there is tamox x 11 zip file so what does the next step says the next step says now go to your home directory and unzip the file with the command unzip tamox x 11 zip okay now you should see three new files on your terminal namely okay so let us unzip now unzip tamox s 11zip and click on enter all right as you can see it has inflicted all the files and there is three new files which is the app debug.apk as you can see tamox x 11deb which is the installation file appdebug.apk, the tamox-x11 application itself and output metadata.json which is the file information for the appdebug.apk alright so to, in the first thing we're going to do is install tamox-x11 dev file on tamox okay now what this what the file is going to do is it is going to install all of the necessary packages for x11 to be able to work and connect with the x11 application which is the tamox debug.apk application i hope you understand so um i'm going to copy this command now so what you just have to do really is copy this command and just paste on your tamox but i'm explaining how this is done you know verbally so that you'll be able to understand what you're doing so um let us copy so um, i'm going to copy the file now copy i'm going to copy the command then i'm just going to head back to tamox and paste that command okay so um but first let me clear my screen ah sorry that was a mistake clear 
yep so um as you can see that is the file that is the file we are installing okay so you're going to install it with the command pkg install tamox 11 the dev all right so pkg install dot forward slash tamox x11 dot deb and um yeah as you can see you're going to click on yes for the installation to be done and um the installation has been complete so i fast forwarded the video though but the installation has been complete as you can see x land has been set up tamox dash x11 has been set up and um all the necessary files we need for this to function properly has been installed so now let us go to the next stage what does the next stage says it says step 3 connecting to tamox dash x11 will land okay after installation, close Tamox and go to your file manager and unzip the tamox-x11.deb file. Now manually install the appdebug.apk from the file manager. Okay, what this stage explains is that you should go back to your file manager and you know unzip the file from your downloaded folder, then install the application manually. But I'm going to be showing you a different method in this video. Okay, you can also you can use this method, okay? Just go to your file manager unzip the file and install the apk file but i'm going to show you an easier way you can do this using tamox all right so i'm going to go back to tamox now if i type ls as you can see we have the app debug.apk file here app debug.apk right there so i'm going to copy that all right and i'm going to be using the tamox open command to install this so you're going to type the command tamox dash open then you're going to paste the name of the file which is app debug.apk then you're going to click on enter and um a pop-up should come and as you can see it says open with package installer so you're going to install this with package installer click on just once okay you can click on always if you wish to always install with package installer so I'm just doing this just once for your security your phone is not allowed to install known apps you're going to go to settings and allow tamos to install unknown applications so you're just going to turn it on and um, install jerry it is so the installation has been completed then you click on done so the application has been installed x11 has been installed and um you're almost ready to go so now we're going to be going to the connecting stage how to connect your tamox and your you know your 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 gui package to x11 so i'm going to be demonstrating this video with xfce all right so to install xfce if you haven't installed xfc and um, xfc gui before on your tamox just use the command pkg install xfce for start now that is going to install xfce for and all its dependence packages okay so xfce has been installed i fast forwarded the video that is why the installation is fast but this takes about 30 minutes okay so now let us go to the connecting step now you're just going to have to copy all of these commands then paste it on your thumbs okay and that is what is basically going to you know help you install this for let me copy the first command now the first command is export xdg runtime then the directory is the um, tmp directory okay the directory x11 is saved by default is the tmp directory so the first thing we want to do is we want tamox to come to connect you know to export the tmp directory that is what this command is used for the export command right here so you're going to paste that then the next thing we want to do is we want to connect tamox x11 to ratio one to local host one okay that is what the command below the second command is doing it is connecting tamox x11 to reach to local host ratio one okay so click on enter just paste and click on enter and um tamox is going to open the x11 application as you can see the application has been opened just exit and go back to tamox okay allow the application to always run in the background yes click on allow 
allow time access 11 to always run in the background may reduce battery life we don't care so just click on allow then allow time access 11 arbitrary command just allow everything okay now that everything has been allowed we'll go back to tamox all right and you're going to connect your xfce you're going to connect xfce to localhost ratio one also to do that you're going to be using the command env display is equal to ratio one and what we want to display is our xfce 4g ui so you can always copy the command from the you know from my blog if you can't remember it just save the link to this article and you know come back here and copy it from here so i'm going to copy all of this now copy and i'm going to head back to your tamox and you're going to paste it there so paste paste and then you're going to click on enter and that is that is basically it okay that is basically it that is how you do it so as you can see it has been connected so if we go back to our x11 this thing now our x11 application there it is it has been connected so um if you want to do some settings from your from your notification bar you're going to see tamox x11 there open the file and click on preferences you can let the file show keyboard if you don't want it to show keyboard on mac keyboard from there how do you want it to display its 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 mouse you're going to click you know just set the preferences according to how you like it and um, they have been connected so this is how it is and this is actually faster than using vnc and the application is actually lighter so it doesn't take too much space from your phone that is the point of using x11 to connect to um to your gui okay so um in videos i'm going to be making in the future i'm going to be collecting connecting kali linux using you know kali linux and other operating system using x11 so this is basically how you do it do not forget to subscribe to this channel and ask me any questions about this tutorial or any other tutorial in the comment section below goodbye